Descended to this world like Sachinandan Gaurhari. He has propagated Bhakti Ras. That is, you should come nearer in front. So, and he propagated Raga Nuga Bhakti Mar. The process of regulating spontaneous love of Braja. He had not come for giving a regulative bhakti because before him, prayer to him, Ramchandra, enough he has given. All incarnations have given, especially Ramanuja, Madhva, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadi. They have propagated all these things by the bhakti. But prayer to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not Raganuga Marga. So he descended to give this very important thing, line of Raganuga Marga, but throw Harinam Sankirti. There is much more difference between the names in Sapaju, Kali Yu, uh, Sapaju, Dwapar Trita, and other jukes. And Pat Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave this Harinam in Kali Yu. Much more difference. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He gave name through love and affection. And love and affection through names. And especially this name, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna. Prior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this name was in Upanishad and Vedas. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna. Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. And all were chanting, so many. But this mood was not before chanting. Mahaprabhu, what he spent on to this one. But he also propagated ten things, established truths. Later around, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Collected 
and he gave to this world. In his Jaiva Dharma, in his Chaitanya Shikshama, in his all books, he gave. What are they? The ten basic principles of bhakti. Ten. Can you? You should stand up and tell. Ten basic dust moves. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has summarized the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his Dasamula Shiksha. Dasamula Shiksha means uh, ten uh, root instructions of the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And of these ten instructions, the first instruction gives the <coughs> deals with the topic of what is evidence. What do we accept as to be truth? For proving something to be true. And the other nine things, the other nine aspects of Dasamula Shiksha explain what is proven to be true by this proof. So Bhaktino Thakur has written, first of all, um, Naya What Braha. we see it is also a proof. So, what we are hearing, this is also proof, anyone, anything, uh, what we are realizing by our all senses, or anyone, this is also a very good proof. Why not? There are various ways of acquiring knowledge, such as by direct perception with our senses, by hypothesis, um, by... Um, historical examples, there are different ways to acquire knowledge of the world. But the, all of these ways, they, there is some defect in them. Why? Because Brahma Pramada Vipralipsa Karna Patava Asha Vigyavakya Nahi Dosha Esav That every conditioned soul has four defects. He has a tendency to cheat, a tendency to be in illusion, a tendency to make mistakes, and his senses are also imperfect. But the scriptures, the writings of the self-realized sages, they are authoritative. So bona fide knowledge will come in Shastra. So back to no Thakur, he has said... But uh, if anyone is saying that my father is com coming, this is a very a strong proof, <coughs> this thing, we can rely on our this sense, eyes, or not? Why? <coughs> if I am saying that, oh, this man is seems to be my father, but when he will come nearer, then oh, really he is not our father. Because these organs are imperfect. imperfect. If in the sky we are seeing that, oh, very black cloud is there, but when we will go nearer, we will see, oh, this is not cloud, this is mountain. If anyone has drunk so much, taken wine, and his mind is upset, then he will see anyone and he will. So, all these are not proofs. So, what is only proof on which we can rely? What is that? Dr. Nautako said, Amnaya Praha. Amnaya is proof. What is Amnaya? Amnaya Sutaya Sakshat Brahma Vidyati Vishuta Guru Prampara Prakta Vishwakarto Hi Brahmana. Amnaya means that Brahma Vidya, spiritual knowledge, which is embodied within the Vedic literatures. But that knowledge from the Vedic literatures, it has to be received through the hearing process in Guru Prampara, beginning with Brahmaji, the creator of the universe. This is definition of Amnaya. Why? Uh, we can read and then. Understand all these things by reading? Why not? What is the defect? We can read, read with Srimad Bhagavatam, we can read Ved, Upanishad, and very clearly we can see that what is there. Is it a proof or no? Why? Why not? Because 
because one also has to have the mercy of this guru and the... Uh, what is the need of mercy guru? If it is written, anything in Upanishad? Because one must understand the Upanishads and the Vedas through the specific succession by the... If no guru, ha what ha? not understand the correct meaning because Why? The, because the spiritual master is the transparent by a media of Krishna. What is the defect there? Sometimes they think God has no shape. Chaitanya Bhagavata is stated, Premamaya Bhagavata Krishna Rasriyanga. Srimad Bhagavatam is like the body of Krishna. If one has praying he can understand. Because by reading the scriptures one may not understand the term. Yeah, this is the thing. Clear. Clear to all. Because by reading the scriptures, so many points may be there, but the actual tone or the inner meaning which is there in the scriptures, one cannot get just by reading. So, Like? Example? Example is if I say, Gopinath, where have you been? <laughs> I say, oh, Gopinath, where have you been? And, and one, 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 and uh, <laughs> so something is written in tone. From where you will have done tone if you are reading only? So it must come some from Guru, from the original speaker. Like Krishna told Bhagavad Gita to Bhagavad Gita to Arjun, and. Krishna, in what tone he told to Arjun, he knew. He can give to others, like Das Guru Parampara, original tune, a tone can come to any disciple. He, he will have not, uh, no need of reading himself. And this is called Suti. So this is authentic. Everything is in Veda, Upanishad, Bhagavatam, but we cannot realize what was the tone in that point. So Guru is the sense, one of higher. In, in that line he should come. So Bhagavat Parampara, Guru Parampara is needed to realize all. <coughs> so first is Vedas, Srimad Bhagavatam, Gita, Upanishad are all bona fide books, yeah. proofs. Among them, Srimad Bhagavat is topmost. <coughs> we can rely on Bhagavat. Why? Why we can? It comes from this Bhagavat has come from the heart of Krishna. It is the embodiment of Krishna. He told it to first to Brahma. Brahma told to Narada. Narada told to yeah. and he himself realized and then he told. So it is authentic. There is no any loop and holes. There are no four kinds of defects. defects. But you know what are the four? Huh? Brahm, Brahm, Brahmad, Karna part of this. What is the meaning? Huh? Huh? You should go on. First, Brahm. Brahm means? Yes. And it's seeking the illusion. Hmm. Uh, Cheating to others. Cheating to others. Yes. Oh, it has been written in this. And he wants to teach any, um, to cheat anyone. So it may, may be so. He will tell, like, oh, in Vedas it is told, Sarvam Kalidam Brahma, Am Brahmasmi. If Krishna is telling that I am Brahma, Am Brahmasmi, no wrong. But cheaters will tell that, oh, you are hearing that, oh, Sarvam Kalidam Brahma, Am Brahmasmi, so you are all Brahma. But Krishna has told that I am Brahmasmi, no one can tell this. Understand? Only for Krishna it is right that he is Brahma. 
all are not. So, if you want to cheat anyone, you can tell, oh, you are Brahma because they know. Veda is Sahaja Veda. So, anyone can cheat you. So, be careful. Then, second. Amnaya Praha Tattam Harimhya Paramam. The second, the point is the first of the topics of what is proven by this Amnaya. So the first thing is that the Supreme Absolute Truth, Advaya Paratattva, the non-dual ultimate reality is Hari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Why you cannot say that Brahma, Sapless Brahma, Powerless Brahma is so personality of God? Why we cannot tell like this? Because he does not have form, he does not have attributes, qualities, characteristics. But Guna Bhagavan means Krishna who's full, who's full in six qualities, six attributes. Also he has form, personality, desires, etc. I think that uh, shapeless, qualityless, uh, powerless, Brahma is supreme personality of God. Because he can be everywhere in the world. Those who have shape, they are not a supreme person. What to tell? So definition of supreme personality Godhead mentioning by these scriptures that he, has, he must be six opulent. Oisargyasa, samadrasa, viriyasa, jathasa, sriya. It is for Bhagavan, not for a Brahma. Gyano, Vaidagrasa, Iva, Sangha, Maitri, Brahma. It is not for Bhagavan. Bhagavan is subordinate to Brahma. Now, Brahma means vihati, din, hai, teacher, who is so big and he can make him and make another anyone to be. But Brahma has no quality. He is qualityless, sableless. If he is qualityless and sableless, how he can be mercy to any other to be, to make him so high? So he is qualityless. So if he qualityless, he could not make any other qualified. So it is not possible for Brahma. Only Bhagavan who is a six opulence and he has special two qualities. One is Bhakta Vatsala, now that is Rasik Sekhar. So if there is no Bhakta Vatsala, this is a one prominent quality of Bhagavan. It is not in found in Brahma. So Brahma must not be Supreme Personality Godhead. This must be Saint Bhagavan. Because Krishna. more something. If anyone has not power <coughs> to have body, then she is so weak. If Brahma is not merciful, having no shape, then he is powerless and merciless. So what is the use of worshipping mercy, merciless God? Because he cannot hear our prayers, he has no ears, he has no heart to realize, no, not merciful, useless, like zero. Wood is better than him, air is better than him. We can use wood in, uh, wood in, in, in our all things. We can make chair from him. We can make bed from him, from that wood. We can make fire from wood. But what is the use of Brahma? Useless, like zero. So, don't be. Anything shapeless is not good. Because we see also, everywhere, on all, all epics and old books, even in, in, in this word? Bible. Bible. God created man after his own image. So, God has... Im, uh, image, shape, and from 
He said he created all these birds. He is so merciful. His body was so beautiful. So he made it. He first uh, created fishes, <laughs> tortoise, <laughs> boars, <coughs> hawks, pigs, even horses, cows, but he was not satisfied. But when he created him, like him, a very beautiful race, human body, then he was satisfied. So there must be body of him. He should, must be merciful. He must be, has some wishes, especially very what, merciful. So without this, anyone cannot be God. Because God means G generator O operator yes. and D destroyer. If he has no ship, no power, nothing, then he cannot do anything. So Muhammadan in Muslims also it has been told in their Quran. Same thing, Inna Laha Kalaka Min Surati. God Khuda created man after his own image. In our Vedas, the same thing. What? He made men of the Jesus. He is so much. So, who is he? Hari. Who is Hari? Krishna himself. So, Krishna is supreme person. Because he is Rasho Vaishaha. He is always a Rasha. Merciful. Hari. All having all transcendental qualities. Quality. At once, when you will pray, at once he will hear and solve all problems, very quickly. So he is supreme personality. And second, you? Krishna is a... Oh, my dear, my dear. He, he, is, he is invested or has with, with, within him all powers or all shakti. Third, third, what is the name? Explain something more. How? Can you explain? His ocean of rush. How? Ocean, ocean of rush means exchanges of, of one rela relationships between people and in order to you know knowledge what is this what is this what is this what are the truths and seeing everything we were seeing no? this is called knowledge but material knowledge what we are thinking from our mind, it is not material knowledge, but something depending on material knowledge. And after that, the knowledge given by Vedas, Upanishads and our Gurus, that our soul is immortal, is the part and parcel of himself God. He has a beautiful say, very rashik, everything, all the qualities which are in Krishna, he has little, 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 little. He cannot be happy by, without Krishna. So this knowledge, after that, it transferred into bhav. Bhav, you know, he is my friend. Then when he comes to us, oh, Bring some sweet mango, some sweet preparation, some sweet juice. And then we call our friend, oh, sit down here and please take. And if he is taking, then I become so much happy. If I am taking myself, not so much happy. But if he is taking, then we become so. Oh, she is my wife. See, he is my husband. These are my children. This mind is come. 
show where there is love in full extreme then he is krishna you can see in shrimad bhagavatam that how he loves all even creeper loves krishna even deer when kakku saying krishna then began to sing and the peacocks sing krishna began So Krishna is the embodiment of love. So he is ocean. If any man, any can well chant, remember, and serve him, then he will be a little drop of that praying, and his life will be successful. If we can take love and affection from any soul, then he will be like zero. so our religion our everything is like that that we are part and parcel and servant of this krishna and his ocean of love then there are two kinds of souls liberated and conditioned i have told in morning my walking liberated soul are always serving krishna in golok vrindavan in dwarka in vaikuntha and they are liberated they will not come to this world they may come to control and to give some teaching to worldly persons to help like uh, the jailer of an a prisoner prison he is not prisoner he will come to see and to supervise jail so sometimes liberated soul may come to this world to help this soul condition soul so there are two one liberated and unliberated those who are in this world now they are condition so and by serving chanting the supreme personality of godhead very easily they can be liberated and they can serve krishna and be happy only there is way to have krishna to take to see or to serve krishna is bhakti first it is called sadhan bhakti after that bhav bhakti and after that this prema bhakti is is what prayojan go and bhakti sadhan bhakti is sadhan and then bhav is also sadhan but it will not be told so these are the trends principles we should try also you should know what is achinta bheda bhed especially the senior devotees should know this especially preachers and also those are bhakt grihastha bhakt or renowned they should know these basic principles of bhakti chetan mahaprabhu told to sanatan goshami jivera swarup hai then krishna ne tata sa shakti bheda bhed prakash so jiva goshami balde vidya bhushan and all our acharyas they propagated achinta bheda bhed what is this can you define what is achinta bheda bhed achinta bheda bhed that form what is bhed what is abhed what is then achinta and then achinta bheda bhed you can explain it. so bheda means um oneness 
Beta means difference. Um, so the living entity and Krishna, they're different in the sense that the living entity is minute and infinitesimal part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. The living entity is Anu. And Krishna is Vibhu, he's um, infinite. So in this way, the living entity and Krishna, they're different. Abed means non-different, in the sense that the living entity and Krishna, that they are qualitatively one. The example, many examples are given, just as you have water from the ocean. So one drop of water from the ocean is one in that qualitatively, if you analyze it, the chemicals, they're the same. But quantitatively, there's vast amount of difference in that the drop is minute and the ocean is very, very vast. Also, there's an example of gold in a gold mine. You get one piece of gold from a gold mine, it's simultaneously one in that it's the same in quality with the rest of the gold in the gold mine, but it's different in that it is minute and there's a vast amount of gold. So, um, how it is a chinta, inconceivable. But one question maybe that if we are like examples you have told that ocean and its one drop. But if we can mix drop in the ocean he will be like ocean. No no difference at all. Apparently so that if one drop mixes but Every atom even has its own unique identity. And though it's mixing into mundane vision, it seems that it has merged. But actually, in the Lord's creation, there's nothing like merging, there's nothing like... As there's nothing like any merging. proof any proof <laughs> well for instance um, example is given that you have a bird a parrot a green parrot it flies into a green tree so then it appears no no I want only uh, one example of water if you, take, if you take the water from the ocean and then you you take it to a laboratory and you analyze then you will see that within that drop of water, that there's so many living entities No there. need of, uh, I don't no. know, <laughs> any factory or anything. Oh, we can only want to know if it's a very uh, cold good day. <laughs> Here you should prove. Without a laboratory. Without a laboratory. Yes, it's... Color. Color. Still, 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 if you, still if you go and you get water, uh, from from the ocean, then that water it, con it constitutes many different drops. Pardon me. I have one question. Let him go. Just like we are asking about water, so if water is uh, one, uh, you will say how you can prove that this is not one? Different. So you can take one glass of water from ocean and take another glass of water from ocean. If you really one, then you can pour that in a one glass in second glass. Then it will be mix and you one. It will be one. 
and one it will not fall down. But if you, if you pour one glass of water in another glass, in full green, it will overflow. Yes. If it is Why overflow, overflow? <laughs> that means it's not warm. It's not warm, so it's overflow. <laughs> if you want, it never will overflow. Uh, again, he used to <laughs> so, in very simple English, <laughs> Naveen Prabhu is explaining through logic that if you take two glass, if you take a glass of water, two glass, if you take two glasses, full brim, <laughs> full to the brim, two, two glasses which are full to the brim, right? then it seems that the water in there that is one, but then you pour it into another container. No. A bigger no. 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 Yes, right. We have two one glasses full of water. And you pour one into the other. They should become, it should one. become one. In other words, no. it shouldn't overflow. So if you pour if you pour from one container into the other, then it shouldn't overflow because it's one. But because both are full and they overflow, so this is proof that actually it's not one. <laughs> that is not mixing and becoming. It because merge. it doesn't mix. No. Doesn't uh, all the atoms of water are separate, separate. Yeah. All water. But due to our lackness of our sight, we are thinking that all are. Also like that. <coughs> uh, if you can take a heap of pebbles from sea or from uh, about so much, a heap, very big heap, so many little, little, smallest small pebbles are there. Take one and mix. There will be one or mixing or separate what? Separate. Separate. It is very hard to take away that pebble from among the so many. If you mix like same, like same, all are. You cannot select the same which you have mixed. But if you give any color and then mix, then easily. You, you can see that uh, uh, in a river, you know, there is a current. You should take bath there. And after same, after one minute, you will see that the water in which you take bath, took bath, no same, it has gone flat. So, anything is not, even one has no one thing. In one, there are three letters, O and E. In Hindi, we tell A, same thing, two. So in this world, there is no example of one. Never. Like America is a country. What is one? There lives so many lakhs and lakhs persons. Lakhs, lakhs, lakhs birds. So many factories, so many things, so many crosses and how it is one. But president only one. President one, but his eyes are two, nose are three, <laughs> teeth are so. Hairs are so many, so where is one? There is no conception of one in So God, with His creation, all souls, He is one. You can make one line, that is one, not all. Oh, but dot, 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 so many dots make a line. So there is nothing in this world one. So our Krishna, with His power, and from power, there so many souls, so many vacuums, so many things. From his Tatastha power, oh, lakhs and lakhs world here. And for his, from his Kon Shakti, <laughs> this Shakti, illusory Shakti, that is Maya, Prakriti. Oh, lakhs and lakhs words have come. So with all these things, uh, there is two things only. One, Krishna, and next is His power. 
and from his power by the wish of Krishna all world have been created all liberated and unliberated souls have come out from it. so there is no difference between Krishna and his power and the things have been come out from his power understand the word all world and all souls have come out from Shakti, potency. Potency has been transformed into jivas and life and life world. So here we can see that there is no difference between power and Krishna. Both are one and same time there is some difference. How it we can realize not by Shastra, not by any only the Shastra coming in our what? In our in line. So we can know all these things. But by our intelligence we cannot know. So it is achieved. World is also same thing. Different from Krishna, in different from Krishna. All souls, like say, that is why Gurudev also, from Nityananda, from Baldev Prabhu, different and indifferent out. Both like say, achinta bheda bheda, in every. Sometimes we cannot see power. But sometimes we can see. Like when Shakti power is in Krishna, then we cannot realize. But when this power comes like a Srimati Radhika or Gopi or Mother, then we can realize. Otherwise. So we'll have to come on the mercy of our Gurudev and Guru Parampara line. Through this we can understand something. But by mind, so it is a chinta veda veda. Go, Praman. It is for some senior Vaishnava. Yes. You were explaining yesterday at the temple that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came uh, with the Bab of Sri Mataji to. Because Krishna wants to know what is there inside me that, Shima, that makes Sri Mataji mad. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, what did he discover about this? What did he discover inside Krishna, inside himself, that made Sri Mataji mad? Oh. Four kinds of Madhurja in Krishna. So it makes. So he wanted to test is three Madhuri, Benu Madhuri, Rup Madhuri, Gul Madhuri, this one is What? Yeah. He's asking, with the water, if you take this cup and drop of water and pour it back in the ocean, how can you achieve this? But now I understand from what you, no, you understand. Now I'm understanding because you gave the example that you take the pebble and you color it. Yeah. So Krishna can see, we cannot see. Oh, we can also see. Then you'll be liberated and you can diagnose by scientific vigyan. By intelligence also coming from our data. We are so many persons. If any other person comes and uh, miss or assembly, that we become one council. But so many persons here are. He cannot be an mixed in anyone. Like birds going in their nests, they are not visible, but they don't become nests. We can throw a, any stone in water in she and when we will take bath we will go inside but we are different from she 
My table cannot be water. We cannot be water. So these are things. Lord Maharaj, could you say something about uh, the fact that the jiva soul is very tiny and under the control of Krishna, either external energy or internal energy, and that Krishna is very big and is the supreme controller, but the jiva soul is very tiny and controlled. What are you telling? He said, he said that um, if some explanation you can give how jiva because Jeev is very small, Anu, then Jeev is um, covered by um, Krishna's external energy. Or internal. Or internal energy. So how Jeev is always under control, either of external energy or internal energy. Is that it? Yeah, and Krishna is uh, the supreme and that, controller. And that Krishna is supreme controller. He's asking just for more yeah. collaboration. Yeah. 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 Because I have some headache now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I will tomorrow. explain it further. Afternoon class. Ah. Okay. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
मनमपी सचीपुत्र स्वूपुरी राधा कुंडम गिरीवर मो राधिका माधवासम प्राप्त कृपया श्री गुरु तंगस्म वंशाकुभ नमो गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय पुत्रे तवैवाश्मी तवैवाश्मी न जीवामी त्वया विना First of all, I offer my lakhs, lakhs, 
Tandar Pranam in the Lotus Pita My spiritual master Nidhariya after Vishnu Vishnu Shishi Bhakti Pratyan Kishu Vishnu Also in the same time I want to offer my Heartly Dandot Pranams in the Lord's Feet of my Shikshya Guru, Nitya Lila Pravishnam Vishnu Pada, Sishwam Bhakti Vedam Swami. We are very happy that senior and sincere devotee of the Bhakti Vedam Swami. Shri Srimad Guruya Pujya have come. We are so much. Also, I am fortunate to have the association of so many sincere uh, and so much senior Vaishnavas here. Like all, what name? Pal Prabhu, Bindaban Prabhu, Chiranji Prabhu, Devendra Nath, Mat, Mat, or Gopinath Prabhu, Rajana Prabhu. Vrindavan Vilashri, I have one of the senior ministers. So I am so much lucky that very far away from India, more than 5,000 months, and here I am seeing and meeting so many exalted Perhaps this is the mercy of Swami. I think one is. He had met twelve forms in the midst of mountains, in the midst of all seas here. And I am so happy that everywhere he spread and propagated his mission. The mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the mission of Rup Goswami, the object of his Holy Master Sri Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami. Also, the prediction made by Sri Bhakti Vinodha. Prithiviteje Ache Jato Nagaradi Gram Sarvatra Prashar Hoyvina. He tell it that and very near, quickly, in whole world. The name of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Radha Krishna and Jugal, Nityananda Prabhupada, everywhere it is. And we are lucky to see that everywhere, anyhow, Krishna is here. All are seen. Whether they know or not, this is the miracle, wonder of what he did, Swami. So, we want to go <coughs> in our explain Srimad Bhagavad. What was his mission and object? I told that the love and affection of Braj has two sections. One, meeting, milan, sanjo, and other separation, vipralambha. One day Krishna was meeting with all the gopis at Prem Shaurava, you know, in the middle of Nandagaon and Prasha. All the gopis were there. Srimati Radhika was in the lap of Krishna. In the meantime, A bee came, bamboo bee, and he was understanding that the lotus feet of Radhika 
is lotus and he wanted to sit on that and to take honey from that again and again repeatedly he used to come and Srimati Radhika was so much fear and she was doing like that like that Krishna was doing also protecting but the bee <coughs> was so so dhurta or not wicked determined <laughs> that he was repeatedly coming 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 <coughs> then madhavankal came and he saw that Srimati Radhika is upset so took a stick and began to chastise and gradually he took out of that place and after some time he returned and told that I have driven this Madhusudan and he will never come again. And hearing this, Srimati Radhika, one of the name of Krishna is Madhusudan also. And also one of the name of that bee is Madhusudan. So Madhusudan name has very deep, deep meanings. Also in this world, we can see so much honey. Where? In our family life. And we try to love our children's husband, wife, beautiful gardens. If not anything, then to love their dogs. Or, and if and not anything, then decorating. Yeah. Our sound rush making. So this is also a madhu, very charming. But this madhu is very dangerous. If one is entangled in this, they will be very far away from Krishna. They can forget so much and thus they will come in the repeatedly in the chain of unlimited chain of birth and death sorrow and suffering. If we will call Madhusudan Krishna, he will cut all these things. So he is Madhusudan. Madhusudan is also a name of Krishna. He takes the Madhu of a Braja Rasa. O oh, Vasalya, Dasya, Shakha, these are all Madhu. Very testful honey. More than this, lakhs and lakhs, there is no comparison at all. Like just this is shadow and this is real. You can tell that. So, Krishna takes the honey of Vasalya Ras, Shakha Ras, especially Madhur Rash. So he is Madhu Sudan. Sudan meant to taste. And sometimes Madhu meant Sudan means to cut. Parvardi, this Madhu Krishna cuts. So he is Madhu Sudan. And gives that class of Madhu. Always testing all these Madhu. So he is Madhu Sudan. So it meant uh, it is for Krishna. So when Madhu Mangal told that, I have driven out that bad fellow Madhu Sudan and he will never return to you. <coughs> and hearing this, Srimati Radhika began to weep and in a minute she became senseless. Oh Krishna, oh Krishna, oh Madhu Sudan, very bad, very bad. And she was in the lap of Krishna. What is this? This is one of the symptoms of Mahabhav. More than that, Adhirur. Krishna is there. She is in the lap 
Krishna is embracing like this. But where Krishna is? Where Krishna is? And she became fine so much. And all kinds of eight sattvic modes came. And Sanskrit. Krishna is thinking, what is this? I am here. She is in my death. But now she is losing me. And telling, O oh Krishna, O oh Krishna, Shyam Samadaka, where you are, where And now she is senseless. If I am making her sense by water or anything, again she will be senseless. Sometimes I have seen that when she is quite absorbed in this brain, and she is feeling separation, and after some time she remembers me and become incense. And I am not there. Even there is a tamal tree, he see, thinks that, oh, he is Shyamsundar. And very happily she decorates her and makes her shingar and wants to embrace that come out. Sometimes talking with clouds, O oh, Ghanasyan. And that time she is so happy. When I'm not here, anywhere else, then she is happy sometimes. Seeing that I am with Krishna. And sometimes with Krishna, but feeling separation. What to do? If I am in Braja, now Srimati Radhika, separation is so much hard that always she is like that, feeling separation, separation. What is separation? Viraha. The word is Viraha. That in separation, remembering from bottom to all the pastimes of Krishna, always remembering, always remembering. So this love and affection for Krishna, it goes so high that it kept, keeps his feet on the Sanjog meeting of all meetings and dance there. Then Radhika becomes dancing, Krishna becomes to dance, and love art also. Like a person he becomes to dance. So hard class. But ordinary devotees cannot realize this. Uddha cannot realize, could not realize this. He was thinking, oh, I am seeing that gopis are in talk much love of Krishna. But why always repenting, repenting, weeping, weeping, weeping? Sometimes dying, sometimes not dying. Why this? I should not be here. Otherwise I will have to face this. So quickly he returned to Mathura. He could not be a dust even of gopis. He could not brajavashi. So it is very rare, very hard to be any brajavashi. If you want to love Krishna, conjugal, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can see that whole life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from top to bottom, always full love, this thing, separation. So if you want to do bhajan, taking initiation from your Gurudev. If you are not feeling separation, then your bhajan is like something zero. Not zero. Some shadow. Uh, what? Semblance? semblance? Semblance. Like semblance of bhajan. Not your bhajan. Oh, Krishna, where you are? You think that Harinam is a person. Oh, Hare Radhike who stoles the heart of Krishna always and controls. 
चीज राधिका मना फॉर नेम इज हरा सो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण इन सरा कृष्ण ओ हरे ओ कृष्ण चेतन महाप्रभु यूज टू से न प्रेम गंधोस्ति दरा पी मे हरो क्रंदम्य सौभाग्य भरम प्रकाशित बंशी विलाश्यान नवलोकन दिना विभर्तन जत प्राण पतंग कान विभृता ओ यू आर टेलिंग ऑल दैट आर यो यू आर सो लवर एंड यू आर वेरी हाई क्लास ऑफ डिपोटी ऑलवेज क्राइंग एंड वीपिंग बट रियली आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ओ सर उदाम उदर ओ रामारायण और सीखी मैं थी आई एम आई एव नॉट ए लिटिल आटम ऑफ प्रेम ए प्रेम वॉज इन मी देन हाउ आई एम लिविंग हाउ आई एम हाउ आई नो दैट ए फीस एज सम सम लव एंड अफेक्ट सम फ्रॉम वाटर एंड इफ सी इज टेकिंग आउट ऑफ वाटर is always doing and getting up like but is still i am alive how am i alive if my prem is to krishna why am not dying oh my heart is more than thunder i want to die but i cannot die so chaitanya mahaprabhu said shrimati radhika can tell like this we can it so if at the time of doing bhajan we are not fa- any separation from krishna and radhika or chaitan nityananda prabhu gocha then our bhajan is not real bhajan we should be like that are you meeting with krishna and radhika when you are doing bhajan Never. especially i don't feel like that so so lo in significant so we should wait for krishna for chaitanya mahaprabhu tadasma saram hrade batedam jad grihyamanam hari nam adhey na vikriyata jada vikaro netre jalam gatru hai oh a person is like, like dead or amalni like a stone if he chanting and remembering krishna but due to offenses due to anarts no real name is there if it was if anyone chanting and remember in krishna hearing hari katha if his heart is pure heart then surely her heart will be, his heart will be melted and tears will come surely but if it is not coming then we should think that we are so rich We have no pure bhakti. Krishna is so sweet, so powerful that He will make us like that. But we are not being so. So there is defect, lacking something in our heart. So this separation would come. Try that your heart, our heart, should be very pure. If you want, then you will have to. honor all the vaishnav who are taking hari name chanting hari name without any class and cost and creed and anything those who are chanting we should think that they are in gaur family in our guru family don't do any no- nonsense like offensing them don't try to be careful from ten kinds of nam nama parad so many anarts vishwana chakravarti thakur has explained so many kinds of offenses and anarts if anyone chanting hari name some preaching and if so much appliance comes so much praise comes so much money comes then he should think that this is not to do it is the semblance of bhav try to be very careful and if you are engaged in that testing and at once you will be go down 
this is also an earth. If you have anything or something or so, so much thing, and if it is destroyed, don't lament. You should try to be saranagata. You should depend on Krishna. He is so merciful. Then you can feel something. You know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how he, is feeling, he was feeling so much separation. Raghunath Das Goswami, Rup Goswami. We should try to remember their lives. This is our life and soul to hear devotees' life. And if we are not so generous that, that you should give any respect to devotees, then how we can realize all this? Let us come with me. We should go to Bindavan, Brazil. No? Where? Come with me in Nandagram. First come to Mathura. Krishna has returned from his Guru, Guru Kul. No? Starting with Baldev, Sudama and so many. When he returned to Mathura, he was on the roof of uh, Vasudev Raj Palace. He looks towards Vrindavan and he became so sad, remembering the how Brajbashi are. I have heard that all cows are going to die without me. Now peacock, peacocks are not dancing. Now, no, no are quail, cuckoos, not singing. Cows not giving milk. Cow coughs, dying. They don't take grass or any milk. I have heard that some of cows have died. Very pathetic scene. And he began to weep, began to weep bitterly. He was alone. Uthav said, where is my friend? And he began to search. And searching, searching. Anyhow, he went to the roof and he saw that. A river Ganges and Jamuna's river were coming from the eyes of Krishna. So bitterly we when Uddhav went there, very near her, Krishna saw, but his eyes were full of tears. He wanted to tell something, but choked. He could not speak. Then gradually he took the hands of Uddhav in his hand, offering. I want to tell something, but I cannot tell. After that, he becomes some confident, little, and he began to tell. Oh, can you go to Vrindavan, Braja, to console my father? There is so much worry for me. They have given up their taking, eating, everything, doing anything. Always remembering, I am weeping. Yasoda has been like a blind and lean and thin, about to die. Nand Maharaj has no dare to come in front of Yasoda. Why? When he will come, she will ask that, Have you sold my son uh, to Vasudev and Devaki? taking some ornament, golden only. He brought something, Krishna gave him and he... So weeping always. So Nand Baba has no dare to come in. So, I think that you should go and pacify them. Vishni hmm? Nang Pravaro Mantri Krishna Shadaita Asakha Shishyo Vrihaspati Sakshat Uddho Buddhi Shaptama 
तमा भगवान पृष्ठ भक्त में कांति तक क्वचित गृहत्वा पाणी ना पाणी प्रपन्नाति हर गच्छ उद्धव पितृ नो उद्धव यू आर माई फ्रेंड यू आर माई मंत्री मिनिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्राइवेट सेक्रेटरी यू आर माई फ्रेंड यू माई सो मच नियर एंड डियर दईत पृष्ठ यू आर ऑल्सो डिसाइपल ऑफ बृहस्पति हिज टॉक टू बी टॉप ऑफ मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट सो यू आर सो इंटेलिजेंट सो कैन यू हेल्प मी यू कैन गो टू ब्रज एंड पैसीफाई माई फादर मदर ओ हि वेंट एट टोटल दिस रियली दैट गोपी नांग मय मद भी योग आवधि मत संदेश गोपीज आर फेलिंग सो मच सेपरेशन वाई वाई मोर मोर देन नंद बाबा एंड जशोदा सखा सखा बार वाल्सो फेलिंग सो मच सेपरेशन फॉर कृष्णा but not like jasoda and nand baba never like nand baba nand baba has become more mad searching everywhere krishna krishna and seeing that oh krishna has come to this tree oh very beautiful steps are here and weeping and weeping sometimes so forget krishna he may go to govardhan but here also everywhere very beautiful fruits of krishna Reminding Krishna. Oh, Krishna was very friend to all trees, creepers. Hmm? Oh, that is why all the trees are now bending or falling, and they want to give up their lives. Even today, you can go and see this. All the trees are like this, lying down, feeling separation. Hmm? So. friends have some separation mood but not like nand baba but jashoda is more than nand baba because he was so much touch with krishna now repenting what when he is sitting and weeping oh i have done a very wrong thing how i bented krishna why i bent that is why perhaps he has gone from here that jashoda nand baba has no much love hmm? and that is why krishna left and he has gone where all are loving him totally hmm. but more than jashoda who are suffering more gopis and among gopis aids and among aids mostly two and into chandravali and radhika Shrimati Radhika is feeling supreme. This separation for Krishna. Why? There are some reasons. In Dwarka, there are so many queens. They love Krishna, but they have ten, ten sons and one daughter each. Sola Hajar, sixteen thousand one eight. Huh? So their son. their love and affection for krishna is divided into so many fractions one for krishna and 10 divided 10 parts for their children one for their daughter and some percent for daughter in law um, son in law and some for house jobs here and there but gopis prem is What? Undivided. Copies have no husbands. If imitation created by Job Maya, they have no love, a little love and affection for the husband. No childrens. Undivided pain. So they are feeling more separation than even Jasoda. Jasoda Maya has some love for Nand Baba. Hmm? 
also love for Baladev, some for home, home jobs. But Gopis Prem, undivided. And in Gopis, when Srimati Radhika is feeling separation mood, then Lalita and Vishakha comes and oh, oh, don't weep so much for you. They are pacifying Srimati Radhika. Who pacifying? Who, who pacifies? You know, if anyone dead had died in a family, husband had died, then wife may be weeping so much, and Nabrash will come and tell that, oh, don't weep. This is world nature. Because they have no so much feeling. So oh, if all the gopis are pacifying Srimati Radhika, what it means? They are not so much observed like Srimati Radhika. So Radhika's separation mode is highest than any of them. But we cannot realize. Why? Because even there is no taste in name, in Hari Katha, how we can realize? If a mood that is a rati will come from upside, from sarup shakti, uh, sandhini, uh, sambit and ladini, the sharp uh, essence in our heart, that is called shuddha sat, we can realize a little bit, otherwise not. Our bhakti is said, our oh, bhakti not really. When that will come, then our bhakti will be pure. Even not test, no asakti, not nishtha even, those who have all these things, they are very fortunate. So much fortunate. We should try to be like that. So Krishna is telling, ta manmanaska mat prana madathe daita daiheva mameva daitam Prishtam Atmanam Manasharvata. How? I have told in Gita, Manmana Bhava, Madhavakto, Madhyaji, Mangnamaskur, Mame Vashashi Shattamte, Patijana Priyashi. What is the meaning? Those who have given fully their heart, mind in Krishna, they are Manmanaska, Manmana Bhava. What is the symptom of this? If anyone gives his mind, his heart to Krishna, then there is no heart he, and without heart he, then lifeless life, feeling so much separation, totally absorbed in Krishna. Uddhav manana bhayo dasabish. Without all that you should chant, remember and meditate, meditate Krishna. Then Gopin began to smile. Ho oh, ho, Uddhav, what you are telling? We are not fortunate like you. Your mind is ten. Huh? Your mind is of ten kinds. You have ten minds. But our man, mind was only one and it has been given to Krishna. So how we can remember, how we can chant, how we can go in towns? We cannot. You can do Understand what is the meaning I am telling? They have not one, two, three, four, five kinds of mind and hearts. Only one and it was given to Krishna. So, manmanaska, like one gopi wanted to meet Krishna, he was so newly, newly married. And she came from any village to Nandagaon. So when in morning Krishna used to go at nine for cows grazing, she wanted to see Krishna. So she was, when she saw, she heard a fruit was very sweet and ha ha, ri ri, of sounds of all gops. Also the Shinga of Baladev Prabhu and all gops. At once she became ready to go. To see all the persons, whether child, children, or old, all the ladies, hmm, all the girls, 
all the old girl, mm, ladies all came out of their homes and they were looking Krishna. In the meantime, she wanted to go, but she is Sashuri, mother She told that, you should not go. She told her, why? Oh, there is a black snake. He will at once bite you. Don't go. She told her, why your sister is going, uh, your daughter is going? Why your sons are going? How, why your husband, husband is going? All are going in Praja. You are also going? Why you are going? He may bite you also, so you should be here. I am going. To. And he could not follow their orders. At once she went. And she, when she went, at once she gave his heart, heart to Krishna. Krishna quickly, um, taking a tail of any cock, I twisted. And at once he, jump, he jumped and came nearer to that girl, and Krishna took his flows and did like this. And he took her. She became heartless. She was just standing in a stand. All the cops went, Krishna went, all cowherd boys went. Even the dust who were flying in the air, they came down. No sign of, but still she was Eyes were closed. His mother-in-law come, came. Hey, what are you doing? I told that a snake will bite and he has bite you. And did so like that. She should come in sense, but he never came. She was brought in the home room and ordered that, oh, you should bring your card and short. Instead of curd, she brought a pot in which so many mustard seeds seed were there, <coughs> and he took churning and began to churn like this. But mind is not here, mind is with Krishna. Again, her mother-in-law came and told her, what you are you doing? I told her, are you mad? At once said, oh, you should go to water take, bring water from well, from distant from Rome, his house. And he gave one pot, another pot, another pot, three, four, and here also, one, two, three, and he gave a very big rope. Also he gave his child in her lap, go bring water. She went there. Because she was accustomed to do there, go. She went there and he kept all the parts there and also the child also. And his mind and heart was not with her, so he took the rope and he binded the baby's neck and wanted to give him well. At once all the women were taking water, pulling water. Oh, what has become? Any ghost? Huh? Ghost has caught you. No? Then there were so many intelligent gopis. Oh, not ghost. Huh? What? Nandapoot has come. In Hindi, it is very good, or Sanskrit. Hmm. Bhut nahi, bhut means ghost. Are bhut has not come. Bhut nahi, nanda kaput. Nanda kaput means? Oh, he has bitten you. So always remembering them. This is called man manaska. Gopi Rar, Krishna is telling himself. In world, in three worlds, there is none who has become man mana bhava. He was telling to Arjun. For Arjun, but Arjun never become like this Manmana Bhava. Never. He cannot be like so. He can be one percent, half percent, or like this. Shaka can be can be fifty percent. Jasodamaya seventy-five. 
only gopis can be hundred percent and Srimati Radhika hundred eight percent. So Mata Prana, Krishna is telling that oh gopis are my pran, life and soul. I am the life and soul of gopis. Devotees may be a very little person who are pure, like Prahlad may be uh, half percent, Hanuman can be uh, one percent, uh, the, no, no, mm, Ambarish Maharaj, some little, and also Dwarka, these, uh, Dwarka, all the wives, maybe fifty percent, like Sakya, some percent more, Yasoda Maya so, and they, so hard. We cannot imagine. But if you are always chanting and remembering pure name, pure Harikatha from the mouth of like a Narad Sukade Gosham, never Tatarsai Upagi Yamana, Aushata, Sotri Manu Virama, Kautam Slok Gunan Vadat Virati. Prakshit Maharaj is telling. Never Tatarsai, who has given up all charm of all world. There is nothing to be charmed. Sukhde Goswami is pure soul. He has given up all these things. Worldly, no worldly desire. Nothing. Even he has given up salvation mood by the grace of Vyasthi. He has no wish at all like that. Always thinking in the ocean of love and affection of Radha and Krishna is conjugal. So hearing Harikatha from their mouths or a devotee like him or in the line of Rupa Goswami, we are lucky that we have come only after 500 years later on. So we are so much lucky. We have seen so many devotees like this. Especially I am in among you. I am so lucky that I have uh, hmm? I have seen all the devotees, very learned, so Rasik Vaishnavas. So much. And after that I see that we have become in Big, big forests, so many trees, no tree now, only Aranda Bariksha. Aranda, you know? Small tree. Very small tree. In that, I am some little. All has gone past me. My Gurudev went to Kolo Vrindavan, Swamiji went, all the disciples of Swamiji. Bhakti Vinod Thakura. Bhakti Vinod Thakura. Bhakti Vinod Thakura. Maharaj, Ban Maharaj. Vaikhanas Maharaj, Jajavar Maharaj, Madhav Maharaj, Ban Maharaj, Shravan Maharaj, Shravati Maharaj, Shravati Maharaj, Nemi Maharaj, Aranya Maharaj, Giri Maharaj. You cannot realize, imagine how wonderful they were. They are not devotees of this world. But now it is, so many are praising me, that you can tell so much beautiful, sweet Harikatha. Oh, you are Vaishnava. But I'm thinking, I'm not even a dust of Vaishnavism. Not, nothing. Because you have not seen. You cannot realize. So Krishna is telling that gopis are my life and soul, and Krishna, my, uh, and gopis are, gopis think that I am their life and soul. Mother te takta de they have given up everything. Deha, Daihik. Daihik means Sringar, to take anything. They have given up everything. Mami Vadaitam, Prishtamatman, Manasagata, Takta, Lok Dharmansha. They have given up their Lok Dharma. Lok Dharma, you know? Has been. What do you think? Everything. So, I must nourish them. Those gifts of everything for me, 
I should do something for them. Anan nishchinta yangu manje jana parjupar stete sham nitya abhi yukta nam yog chhem vaham me. Understand? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Those who worship me with exclusive devotion, that for them I preserve what they have and I provide what they lack. I took on my head, my dhi soldiers, and quickly go and serve them. So I must nourish them to support them. So you should go there. Just now, I'm giving you golden chariot of Kansa, advanced school. Quickly, he dressed himself with his own garments, pitambar, and this pitambar, and so many things. And he gave it that chariot. Quickly, you should go. When Uddha went there, at once he saw it was evening. Forty-five minutes हो गया। नारे। अच्छा, I'm sure. I went to hotel, but I said tomorrow I will tell. But when he went, he saw at once. Oh, Krishna is not in Mathura. He is here, surely. He is some partly in Mathura. He saw that. Oh, lakhs and lakhs cows, with lakhs and lakhs cows. cows, all are so happy. Some bullocks, bullocks are fighting them for cows. Oh, the ors are so heavy. And they saw that all are in the evening, they are churning. How churning? Quietly absorbed in Krishna. Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Some were giving lamps in money Tambha. And Pratik. Of pure ghee. Oh, scent was coming everywhere. Everywhere. Beli, Chameli. Well, in Luzon. And bees were? And in there. Kakkus were singing. Everywhere. All were. Feeling that Krishna is here. In a glimpse. He saw all this. And in a couple of minutes, he saw that. Oh, where is Krishna? All are so sad. So lean and thin. Cows are also like this. He entered the house of Nanda Baba, Nanda Baba Shah. And he at once began to be. And he took, put down in his laps. Then he, anyhow, Get something from. He told that, oh, go to this Brahmin and bring some pious key. Here you know. Sweet rice. Sweet rice. He brought it, but there was no sugar. Why just so that could not prepare? Oh, for home civil. Everything was upset. The pots were upset. The makarsa has. Everything was dirty. So she could not. And for whom she will cook? We can cook, or we will offer to Krishna, and then remnant all we will take. My mother will take, my husband will take, my uh, wife will take, my children will take. But just the for whom? After that, he took something, and when it was easy, then Nanda Baba told, Oh, my son, he wanted to speak about Krishna, how Krishna is there. But he could not speak. His voice was choked, and he began to weep, and reminded, 
Krishna, 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 here and there. And then at last he told that, uh, oh, how is my brother? Who is brother? He was brother. How is my I think that Kansa has been tired by his own activity, bad activities. <coughs> his bad, bad activities has killed him. Oh, can you tell about my Krishna? And Kri 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 was shocked and he began faint like that. Oh, the thought that what should I, how should I satisfy him? Or console He has no words, but he was remaining Krishna order and he should fall. So he wanted to pacify him, but he thought that if I am thinking that whole epics, Srimad Bhagavat and Ved Upanishad are telling that even a one drop of tear comes in eyes for Krishna, he is sorely fortunate. And not like so, all are unfortunate. So Nanda Baba always weeping so much, so he is his most fortunate person. But I cannot tell that you should be you should weep, you are so fortunate. I cannot tell. So what should I tell? She could not think. At last he thought, I must tell something. He told <coughs> that, oh, you are fortunate, you and Yasuda Vaidya. Hearing this, Nand Baba began to weep more and more. How I am fortunate? Hmm? Oh, my boy, I thought that you are friend of Krishna and you are so intelligent. But I think that you are not intelligent. Even your wisdom had not come a little intelligence. If I am thinking about myself, I am seeing that I am most wretched person in the whole world. Why? Without all that, why? Are your son is not your son. He is himself part, uh, supreme personality of Godhead. And you are so lucky and fortunate. You and just so that, that he has come like your son here. So you are so much fortunate. Then Nanda Baba told, Oh, why? You have no intelligence at all. You are ignorant. You can see that I am worst in this world. How? Son Krishna came, he is supreme personality of Godhead, you are telling. So if Supreme Personality of God had came as a son in my house, but he has left me that we have no affection and love for him, and that is he has gone to Mathura. So we are so much wretched. I know that only one father was in this world. Who was? Maharaj Dasa. Ram went to forest and he told one name, Ram, Haram and Har. And he left him. We cannot do. So we are not fortunate. So you are not thinking of my, you are not realizing my heart. So we are must most unfortunate in ignition in this world. And he became fine. You can imagine this love for Krishna. Vasudeva and Devki has no love and affection. Maharaj Dasarath has no love and affection like Vasudeva and Nand Baba. I wanted to tell so many things, but I cannot tell. I wanted to tell something about gopis. Uddha, after that, in morning he went, whole night weeping, both. And it became morning, and then he went to take bath in Krishna Kund, very near us to Nand Gaon. And then he saw at last. Oh, in a dense forest, all the gopis are there. Am among them, one is sleeping on a lotus flowers. And whether she is dying or she is living. And she saw a being. Oh, don't come to me. And this is called Tamar. I wanted to tell something, but I will tell something tomorrow.
<laughs> you you'll be very happy to see here any drama is going to be played by prabhu and his companions very very soon very soon very soon oh one thing i want to tell you uh, i'm happy that prabhu has come you know I will go tomorrow from here to India. I think he is very good devotee in the line of Swamiji, very liberal hearted. So I think that I should request you all that when I am going, you should treat him your best friend, true devotee, and you can associate with him. He will take you to the real path. I also request him that you should be very favorable to all, thinking your our family, whole family, and try to help them all. And thus we will be one family. We should not care for any worldly reason, any cause, for money, for disciples. Never, never. We should that Swamiji has so many disciples. So many exalted what sannyasis, and where they are, I know all from beginning. I am from 1946. I am with Swamiji when there was no birth of Vishnu, and from then I am looking and serving him and all devotees. So try to be very. Very, very humble. Always uh, giving honor to devotees, and also I so I request him that you can associate with him. You can help him. I went there in his ashram. I saw. Oh, Brindavan, Radha Kund is there. Sham Kund is there. And I think that peacocks may come very soon. I see that uh, tamal tree and kadamba tree also may. Come there, and a beautiful Vrindavan garden is there. <coughs> so I think that you should help him in his all these things. Always remind. Don't make Gita Sansar. Gita Sansar. Don't make. Hmm? So you know, I have no time to tell this Gita. <laughs> <laughs> to save Gita, he from rats he. Brought a billy, billy yeah, yeah, cat, yeah. and for, for cat he have to take cow, cow, cow. cow, and cow has so many calves. Now he has to marry one wife, one wife. <laughs> and then so many children. And Gita was wrapped and kept there, and Harinam Jholi was kept there, and, and Guru told, "Hey, what is this? Oh, this is Gita Sansha. Oh, this is not Gita Sansha. <laughs> so don't be like that." Always try to be devotees. I like this. Gaur Pramana.